Dan. Welcome. Oh, I'm just chilling in Tulsa. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> it's really hot. <laughs> Cooler than Texas. Is it? In Texas and Houston, where I live, it'll say like 98 degrees, but feels like 107. Don't you love oh, that? Yes. The feels yes. Yes. like. It's like, why don't you just say. Let's roll with that. Yeah. <laughs> Tori and I used to live in Houston, and I remember getting up and my hair would just look super good and then I'd walk uh-huh. outside it was like forget Ooh, it yes you can <laughs> have straight whoosh. hair today no straight uh, hair in Houston <laughs> my wife curls her hair and then when she goes outside it's straight so mine was the other way around I yes. would, you know you try straighten to, it and then it'd be it. poof yeah in Houston so well Chia Pet Tulsa's you know there. humid not, not quite as humid as Houston so. yeah. Chia Chia sorry yeah it's yeah, right, right there I had to do it it's a layup <laughs> hey speaking of songs let's talk about your new song Joy in the Morning Man thank you guys for supporting it it's the title track of the album uh that just came out a few weeks ago but i just really felt compelled in this body of work to lift people's eyes to the horizon of heaven Mm. i think that so many times it's so easy to feel the hurt the pain the trauma that comes with living this life Mm -hmm. and Sometimes we can begin to believe that this is all that there is. We use what we know about right now to shape what we know about forever. Mm -hmm. But the beautiful thing about the gospel is that we get to flip perspectives. It's an upside down kingdom. So we actually get to use what we know about forever to inform what we're going through right now. So you may feel lonely right now, but loneliness is not forever. You may be in a season of disappointment right now or loss, But that's not forever. We know what forever is. And that's with Jesus. And that's in this place called heaven, eternity with him, Mm. where there's only goodness, comfort, joy, peace that flows from the goodness of God. So if we can really get people's hopes up again after all that we've been through to realize weeping may endure for a night, but there will be joy. Joy. Joy in the morning. morning. You want to hear it right now? Absolutely. I can't wait. Live with Torrin Wells right this moment. There is his new song, title track from the album, Joy in the Morning. (laughs) Torrin, we have a thing we say on the radio sometimes. It's, you played that song exactly at the time I needed to hear it. And I think we're going to be hearing that a lot because we hear that exact same thing from our listeners all the time. It's like, man, I was really having a tough time. And then I heard that song. And it turned Isn't my whole amazing? moment around, mm-hmm. my whole day around, and sometimes my whole it life does around. Change. The yeah. music does change yes. people's lives. Yes, it does. It really so, does. So man. keep on doing what you're doing. Yes. You had a question about the music school. And oh, are you still doing the music school? I'm not doing the music school really? anymore. My wife and I uh, started a music school in mm-hmm. Houston called Prisma Worship Arts School maybe four years mm-hmm. ago, five years ago. Mm-hmm. We did it for four years. And things started happening with music and ministry. Did and you get busy? Kinda, kinda Did you get up. too busy? Well, honestly, <laughs> I thought that I would just do music as a hobby. Wow. So I was in a band before, and we were trying to do our thing. Mm-hmm. And I got married, had our first son, and found out our second son was on the way. And I was like, I cannot travel right. this much. I can't be gone. I was on staff at my church already, so I thought, I'll just plant be local and be content and ended up signing a new deal and still thought "Eh, i'll put out (laughs) a few songs here or there and then i actually got on tour with lionel richie and mariah carey and realized i will not be doing music as just a hobby anymore (laughs) so some of those other things kind of dissipated but Mm. i'm grateful for the time that we had we trained a lot of students that's neat sounds like god had other plans for you and your family and speaking of your kids so you said son number one yes and then you said son number two Mm -hmm. and how many (laughs) okay son Son number number three. three Son number, number four. four. Yes, and <laughs> the Lord said it was finished. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got four boys, Canaan, Lawson, Navy, and Banner, and they are nine, six, four, and one. 
And if you multiply all those numbers times each other is the level of energy in our house. <laughs> it's ridiculous. That's fantastic. So something that we have in common, we both have four sons. Yeah, really? Dave has yeah. four sons and oh, three cool. daughters. Man, yeah. I need some pro tips. <laughs> because at any moment, I feel like our house is going to come down. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Just have someone that can fix up your house. That's yes. a pro tip. That's not me. <laughs> we learned that very quickly. I'm not Bob the Builder. Months ago, I think, maybe. Maybe it was after Banner was born. You said mm-hmm. you had now you have one for each sport. Yes, yeah, I love that every season, <laughs> and they can sports. only play yeah. one sport at a time because yeah. uh, we can't get everywhere. Yeah, they're um, they're in karate and they play flag football, basketball, and uh, take piano. Nice. So that's, gotta get that musical instrument in there. Gotta yeah. have it yeah. now. They're gonna take piano until they're 18. Okay. They, they will. They won't and they, they will house. practice, right? Yes, <laughs> and they will. It's a life skill. They're going to know how to golf. Oh, yes. yes. They're going to know how to play yes. piano. Or if, if eventually they want to move to a different instrument, we'll, we'll allow that. But That's a great place to begin. It's okay, that's, I love that. You will play the piano <laughs> yes. and you will play golf. As long as <laughs> I'm paying the bills, you will play piano. Just real quick, back to the worship leading. Are you still popping in every once in a while? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm on staff at my church. Uh, that's something that's just been consistent. My wife and I love the local church. We really believe that so important. the light that shines the furthest shines the brightest at home. So half of the year I'm on stage serving it in that capacity. And then I, you know, check in with my pastor every week and all of that. There's something that my pastor says all the time from the Psalms, I think, those that are planted in the house of the Lord flourish. And I really think the goal of my life is to have longevity and to be able to serve people for a long time. And I think it's directly connected to how strong our root system is. And you don't have to be a Christian artist uh, to kind of get away from your root system. That can be sports that take you away or career moves or things like that. But being connected, I think, is so important. I love how Mark Hall said at one time, he was speaking to a group of youth pastors, and he was like, we get to come in and just like throw some excitement out on the crowd and sprinkle a little bit. But those of you that are walking through life with people, you're doing the real work. Oh, it and like him. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's it's important just to keep it in mind. I know everybody's journey looks a little different. Sure. but it takes all of us. Yeah. Speaking of, us. of Mark Hall, ask him if he knows the one amazing talent. Oh, do you know Mark Hall's Mark amazing Hall. secret talent of casting crowns? Uh, what? <laughs> he can draw upside down. Next time you see him, ask him to draw... A picture of Jesus upside down. I believe he can do it. Yeah, it's, he's so artistic. It's, it's amazing to watch yeah. him do it. He's it's really good. Yeah, you know what else really he can good. do? What? Thank, thanks to me. <laughs> okay, I don't <laughs> want to toot my own horn here, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, I may have gotten Mark Hall to moonwalk on stage. Whoa. During a concert, I, I, I don't want to take all the credit. <laughs> so it's it's a lot of fun. Have you seen Logan Kane do his backflips on stage? I have. You have. I have. <laughs> I told him we need to do it at the same time. I used to. Okay, remember Winter Jam? Yeah. Uh, yes. In my band, we we did Winter Jam one year, and it was a long catwalk, and I would do a round off into a back handspring you every did. night. Yes, until one night. Uh oh. <laughs> Y'all already know where this. Did you fall going. off? I landed on my knees, oh, and I was like, "You know ouch. what? I have children. <laughs> if, if I can't, if risky. I can't entertain these people without a backflip, I need a new job. <laughs> 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 so if, if that's what it takes, hence the moonwalk. <laughs> hence the moonwalk. A <laughs> lot safer. <laughs> well, you know, Logan just had a baby this year, so maybe they'll well, he cut that t- out now, too. But his back tuck is professional. Thanks for being oh, here with us, man. That was great. Thank you were so it. fun. Is there anything you want to leave with people of Tulsa, just some encouragement from your own life maybe that you'd like to share? I would just encourage people that now is not forever. Whatever you're walking through, whatever problems you're encountering, encountering, facing. We have this promise that they have an expiration date, that all of this is, our whole life is moving in a certain direction. And it's toward 
relationship forever with Jesus. And it doesn't solve all of our problems. It doesn't satisfy all of our doubts, but it does let us know that we're never alone. Well, and that goes right along with your song, Joy in the Morning, too. Okay, so let people know where they can find you, follow you on yeah. social, because that's kind yeah, of a big deal these days. Yeah, you can days. follow me on Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> uh, you can go to torrentwells.com to keep up with the journey and see how you can get plugged in. YouTube. YouTube, 100%. You. I'm trying to get to a million and subscribers. Okay. So my kids think I'm cool. <laughs> That's, I know. Just say, go practice your piano. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jordan Wells, everybody. Thanks for being here, bud. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm.